Hello everybody, this is X Thomas Nex. Uh, just logging into my test world here. Wanted to show you uh, my Nexus that I built, uh, inspired by Direwolf 20. And um, yeah, uh, mine is not computerized yet. I don't know if I want to do that or not, but I probably should. Uh, just to make everything easier, but I don't like the thought of um, logging into the computer and stuff like that, so I might hook up a button to the Red Power 2 computer, um, but that will be in another video. Uh, so here you can see that I have all these um, stores for my books. Uh, to travel to another dimension and um, simply what I've done is if I send a book it will switch the light to red uh, saying it's not in there anymore and it will turn the portal on and the light is green indicating that the portal is open and I have some logic gates and stuff back here uh, just making sure that I can't send another book before I've sent the book in the portal back so now the portal should turn off yep there we go I still can't send any books oh yep there we go um, the book have to get back in to this item detector which will trigger the reset for my gates back here um, this lever is just a um, a uh, yes and I'm back uh, <laughs> I forgot the word for it but it's uh, a manual reset switch in case um, just in case you have some items in the system that you want to flush out or it's stuck for some reason um, yeah and this line up here I, you can see I made it really easy to just build onto this it's just copy paste really and um, yeah we can set up a green input I think it is right there so I can show you how easy it is. So let me just put a book there. Name it book five. Like so. Book five. Just plunk it down there. And here I have a filter. Um, so when the book gets back in here it will trigger this redstone turning the filter on or off allowing uh, the book to get in through that um, nomadic tube or if it's on it won't get in, uh, through that nomadic tube uh, you should know how this works if you're watching this video but you can see wait yeah that's a transposer that's the wrong one Aww. here you can see it like now it's on and it won't let any items through it now it's off and items can uh, flow through it so that's uh, just a really simple system there so I'm gonna plunk down a nomadic tube a item detector, transposer, pneumatic tube again, and an item detector. And right here, I want a accelerator with accelerator tube. Is that a name for it? Yeah, mag tube. Okay, mag tube there, accelerator, and yeah, that's basically it, really. Um. I just have to hook up some 
jacketed wires for this. Um, let's see. I need a gold jacketed wire. A um, let's see. Oh yeah, um, basalt brick jacketed wire, <laughs> and the final is a diamond jacketed blue wire for the electricity to the accelerator. So we just plunk it out like this. Uh, yeah, and the basalt, which is my reset, should go. Oops, sorry. It should go up here, shouldn't it? Yes, like so. And there are probably other ways to do this, but I figured that this was the best way to do it for me. Uh, and I need some covers here just so. Um, this won't connect up to uh, this basalt wire because uh, I don't uh, use the uh, jacketed um, the 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 let's see what the name was bundled cable. I don't use it there because um, I need to convert it into a, a regular red wire signal. So let's just do this real quick, and we should have a. Uh, where is it? There it is. And I need some red ala wire, bundled cable, and a lime insulin insulated wire <laughs> and just hook it up to here of course that cover is in the way ah well iron I iron like that um there it is plunk it down right like there easy enough like so, bring this one up and out and down to here. So when I flick, um, let's say, the yellow button, it will send a signal over to here, traveling to here, finding the right um, logic gate system that will uh, flick this. Uh, RS latch, I think the name was, and basically what it will do is just turn every inverter cell on so that the signal won't be able to pass through here anymore. Because this wire is on right now, as you can see. Ah, oh, well, sorry about that, my doorbell rang, and uh, where was I? Yeah, uh, so when uh, the button is flicked, it will turn this inverter cell on, basically uh, keep this uh, red wire on, so it won't be able to pass a signal uh, through here and to the wire going over here to the transposer, sending the book away. Uh, so we can better see that if I reset. Uh, yeah, because I reset the system. All right. So there's the book. Should be off now. Yep. If we send the orange signal away, you can see now the inverter cell is on. Basically, just keeping the these ones on so when this signal is getting inverted down here it won't be able to turn this off uh, turning this on and sending a signal through here to the transposer <sighs> well um, okay so let's hook up the lime to here 
like so. And down here, and we're done. I think. I think that was it. Oh, yeah, we need a button here, of course. <laughs> Silly me. So, let's just do. Oh, we can just go over here. Plunk down this and that. Get us some red alloy wire. Some lime wire. Get us a wireless receiver and transmitter. Like so. This will be on channel 8. No, 6. Yeah, 6. Call it lime. Set name. Run over here. Plug it down here, send on a lime signal, and connect it to there. So now it should be ready. Uh, you can say the portal is on. Let's reset it. Send the book back. The book will get in here, reset the system, lights turn green, and we are all good to go. Except I forgot a button, of course. So, like that, and now we should send this book. Come on. Okay, I did something wrong. Oh yeah, silly me. The book got sent, but it didn't click this, so this is independent from this system, so if there's anything traveling to the system, this will still get uh, activated. So, uh, what I forgot to do was this. Right, because uh, when this uh, item detector detects the item, it will send the signal over here, clicking this one off. So now you can see that the book isn't in there anymore. And I need a cover for this transposer, because I don't want the transposer to be ticked when the item, uh, the book is getting in here. Okay, so now we should be good to go. So if I reset... Or send a book back rather. It should go in there. Reset the system. Yes. And we have lift off. So now I should be able to press the green wire. It should click red. Yes, it did. Fantastic. And the portal should turn on. There we go. So you can see this is easily expandable. Um, it will take some resources though. Um, but if you just lay it down like I have, I can even uh, expand it even more here because uh, you can see the mag tube is just flowing straight down that path. Uh, same goes for the other side here. You can see the mag tube is just going straight down all the way. And for my system down here, it's not uh, that complicated. It's just the same like up there really. <laughs> like a item detector, a uh, filter, a transposer, and then a item detector again uh, to a toggle latch, is that the name? I think it is. Uh, turning the lights on. And oh, it's just simple like that. And my this is my um, blue electric wire for the accelerator over there. Getting power for my solar array thingy and yeah this one doesn't go into a book stand it goes into um, this thing I can't remember the name of it never can remember the name of that thing right there but oh well and yeah this setup is right there is just for me to get some EMC so I could build this um, with a um, mercury mercury <laughs> I have trouble saying that for some reason. It might be because I am from Norway. Whoa, you guessed it. Good job. Ah, oh, well, yeah. So that's it, basically. Um, yeah, like I said, if I'm gonna hook a computer up to this, I'm gonna make another video uh, for it. I probably will, though. But I have to 
uh, move this entire portal thing over to the right here because it's in the way for my system here it will get like right next to here yeah it will actually go right here so yeah that wouldn't look very nice I have to have everything looking nice, so that's why these things take so long to build for me, sadly enough. And yeah, I know that I could make it more compact, like uh, I've seen on YouTube uh, builds like this, where the books are right next to each other, but I didn't want to do that. Uh, I might do another build of a Nexus doing that, but I don't know uh, as of right now. This is the second time building it, by the way. Uh, the first time, uh, it wasn't this design though, but um, uh, I built a similar design to this and my world just keep lagging out of me uh, because I had too many worlds or these books open. I haven't even traveled through these uh, dimensions yet, or age rather, uh, because I'm afraid that it will create so much junk file files in my uh, Minecraft folder, and I tried to delete away, but it didn't work. I still got huge lag spikes. Hopefully, the new release of Mythcraft will fix that, but as of right now. I don't dare traveling through those because uh, I'm afraid of crashing and losing everything I worked so hard on. Oh, it's just a pain in the butt. But still, uh, if you like this video, please comment, rate it, and subscribe. It will help my channel out a lot, and I will uh, make more videos for you guys. So, ta-da!